Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can easily edit 10, 50, 100, even thousands of your listings very easily in Wonderlister. The process basically has three very simple basic steps. The first step is to export your existing listings data as is to a CSV file. The second step is to edit that file with the changes you so desire, save those changes back to the file. And the final step is use that file to update your listings using Wonderlister and then submit those changes to eBay. All right, so let's get started. The first step is to export your existing listings to a CSV file. So to do that, you must be in the listings tab. If the listings tab is not already open, you can open one using the menu option listings manage. In this video, I will demonstrate how you export your listings. So I'm going to export only one and but the process is the same. So you select all the listings you wish to export and then once you've selected, click on the button export just above the grid. A new tab opens up. So what you, we need to do here is to export certain columns that we wish to change. In my current situation, I'm interested in making change to quantity and price. So what I'm going to do is click on manage export views. And as you can see, I have the columns that I have selected is eBay item ID, which uniquely identifies which eBay listing I am going to modify and the price and the available quantity so so and I have saved that view under a name called edit price and quantity so edit price and quantity is what I selected essentially what is this saying is if I export my listing that I selected using this view the final CSV file will have those three columns that are in my view and the file will be saved as you can see is listings 5.csv and it's a comma separated file i'm not exporting item specifics but if i would have selected item specific i can have a choice of how do i want to export okay so let me export as you can see the file after exporting this is listings 5.csv automatically opens in excel and that's a issue with excel that all large numbers can display the exponential form so you select that column do right click click on format cells select the number and make it as zero decimals and then it will be fine okay now i'm going to make the change price from 25 to let's say 50 quantity from 10 to 20 and i control s to save the file save it back as csv close that file so it was listings file now i go so that's my second step is completed by editing that file the third step is now use that file to update the actual listing. Go back to listings and from CSV do an update. Select the file back. So that's listings 5. You can see now the price is being set to 50 and the available quantity being set to 20. The current value is 10 and 25. We are making 20 and 50. We are doubling it. Just click on update listings. And now it's processing. So whatever the number of listings were there in the CSV file, each one will get updated based on the changes we made. So it says file processed, results section. It says message is successful. It revised listing ID was 22, so it was successful. So I just refresh my grid. And now you see it's 20 and 50 as it's supposed to be. Just to verify that eBay indeed has quantity of 20 and the price of 50, select that listing and view it on ebay it should have a price of 50 and more than 10 available so we see that it's not that hard to make changes to multiple listings using a csv file all you have to do is follow those three simple steps that i outlined first step export the columns that you wish to change make sure you do export the ebay item id column because that's a unique id for each individual listing that's how uh bundle lister knows which which list ebay listing you are intending to modify 
after you have done the export make the suitable changes to the file that you exported and the final step is use that file to import back using this button from CSV click on update use that file in the dialog that opens up in this field and just click on update listings and you're done so thank you so much if you have any questions or need any clarifications kindly email us at wonderlister at support at wonderlister.com thank you